Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you a viable way to make gill while leveling your jobs from 70 to 90. We'll be farming shared fates in Shadowbringers and Inwalker. More precisely, we're farming the bicolored gemstones. If you click under travel, you can see the shared fates. Opening it up will bring up each zone for Shadowbringers and Inwalker. Shared fates has three levels. Each new level unlocks specific items for that zone. Level one has rare crafting materials, which is the only other way of obtaining them besides the mark board is by sending your retainers out on battle ventures. Level two has a riding map that increases your ground mount speed. Not very useful once you have flying though. And level three has various rewards like minions, triple triad cards, furniture, and orchestral rolls to name a few. Each rank requires a set amount of phase to unlock the next rank. Level two requires six and level three is 60. So to complete a zone takes 66 fates. With six zones, that's a total of 396 fates to finish the expansion. You are awarded 14 bicolored gemstones for each max rewarded in Walker Fate and 12 for Shadowbringers. Ovivo's Milk, Yakao Chuck, Almas de Fur, Luncheon Toad Skin, Luna Tender Blossom, Moose Flesh, and Petaluda Scales. These items are averaging 250 gil each for the cost of two gemstones. That's 1,750 gil for each Fate on top of the other rewards for completing the Fate at maximum reward. You can easily solo these fates while leveling various jobs. You can speed up the process by starting or joining a fate farm and party finder. This is a great way to spend your time while waiting for a DPS duty roulette to queue. Plus, if you are still leveling your chocobo, this is bar none the best way to quickly level them to max. If you don't care about leveling all jobs and just want to quickly farm fates, the last two zones will be your best bet because these fates won't sink you down. No level sink means no item sink. So even with my no materia melted item level 640 gear warrior, I'm mowing them down like they're nothing. You can also bring in your blue mage and quickly take out all the waves with their jank. Though without personally testing this, my guess is you would want to stay closer to the level 80 phase zones. I'd love to hear from anyone if they have experience farming these fates with a blue mage. Leave a comment below with your suggestions. So I'm farming the crafting materials on this character but that's just the small papotos. The real farm begins once you reach rank 3 with all of Inwalker. So I switched over to my main because she's only missing 20 fates from completing Inwalker. So quickly bang them out so I can show you everything that unlocks at rank 3. There are two new gemstone vendors that are unlocked once you finish. The first one is here in Razitzan. They sell a few new equestrian rows, a bow cosmetic that sadly is too hard to see with this hairstyle. But the main thing we are interested in for farming gill are the bicolored gemstone vouchers. They cost 100 gemstones and at the time of this recording are selling mostly between 140 and 150,000 gill each. That's an average of 20,000 gill per fate. It takes about five minutes to solo a fate on the slow side. You figure 12 fates an hour, you are looking at almost a quarter of a million gill in an hour. And these sell quickly at this price. I bought five on my main after finishing and unlocking this, and before I was done recording the video, they had already sold. That's because they are used for two in-game items, and each of those items require 500 of those vouchers. The wyvern mount, which I bought from buying vouchers back when they were 75,000 gil each, and the other item is the demonic fallen angel wings, which I still do not own. The reason these vouchers sell for so much is because they are locked behind the 396 fates, and honestly, not many people have the patience or commitment to complete it. But if you can stick with it, this time investment will definitely pay off in the long run. The other gemstone voucher is located here in Old Charlian. They have a few more orchestrian rolls and a pretty great fine wreath. A few more furniture items, but otherwise the same items ever as at Han. Well, this is my look at farming gill through fates. I know it's a lot of work and not really for everyone, but for those who really enjoy these types of grinds, you'll find it's one of the best farms currently in the game. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll keep making videos. Hope you'll keep watching them. See you next time. Bye.